Welcome to the spoken tutorial on nested if and switch statement in C and C++. In this tutorial we will learn how to use nested if statement and switch statement. We will do this with the help of some examples. To record this tutorial I am using Ubuntu operating system version 11.10, GCC and G++ compiler version 4.6.1 on Ubuntu. First we will learn how to write nested if and switch statement with an example. I have already written the program. Let's have a look. In this program we will learn to check the range of integers. Note that our file name is nested-if.c. Let me explain the code now. This is our header file. This is our main function. Inside the main function we have declared two integer variables x and y. Here we prompt the users to enter a number between the range of 0 to 39. We take the value of y as input from the user. This is our if condition. Here we check whether y divided by 10 is equals to 0. If the condition is true, we print you have entered the number in the range of 0 to 9. This is our else if condition. Here we check that y divided by 10 equals to 1. If the condition is true, we print you have entered the number in the range of 10 to 19. In this else if condition, we check whether the number is in the range of 20 to 29. And here we will see that the number is in the range of 30 to 39. This is our else condition. If all the above conditions are false, we print number not in range. And this is our return statement. Now let us execute the program. Please open the terminal window by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. To execute, type gcc space nested hyphen if dot c space hyphen o space nested. Press enter. Type dot slash nested. Press enter. We see enter a number between 0 to 39. I will enter 12. The output is displayed as you have entered the number in the range of 10 to 19. Let us enter another number. Let's execute again. Press the up arrow key. Press enter. I will give 5 this time. We see the output as you have entered the number in the range of 0 to 9. The conditional execution can also be done in another way by using switch statement. Let's see how it is done. We will see the same program using switch. I have already opened the program. Let's switch back to our text editor. I have explained this in the previous program. So I will move on to the switch statement. Here we divide the inputs that is y by 10 and the result is stored in the variable x. That means the quotient will be stored in x. With the help of the quotient, we can identify the range of the number. Here we tell the switch command that the variable to be checked is x. This is case 0. If case 0 is satisfied, then we print you have entered the number in the range of 0 to 9. We add break to come out of the loop if the case is satisfied. We need to break the loop each time. It is because only one condition can be true at a time. This is case 1. Case 1 means if the value of x is 1, we print you have entered the number in the range of 10 to 19. This is case 2. Here we print you have entered the number in the range of 20 to 29. And this is case 3. Here we check whether the number is in the range of 30 to 39. This is the default case. Default case specifies what needs to be done if none of the above cases are satisfied. Here we print number not in range. And this is our return statement. Let us execute the program. Switch back to the terminal. Type gcc space switch dot c space hyphen o space switch. Press enter. Type dot slash switch. Press enter. 
enter a number between 0 to 39. I will enter 35. The output is displayed as you have entered number in the range of 30 to 39. Now we will see how to execute the programs in C++. Switch back to the text editor. Note that our file name is nested-if.cpp. Here the logic and implementation are same. There are a few changes like the header file as iostream in place of stdio.h. Here we have included the using statement using namespace std and the cout and cin function in place of printf and scanf. You can see that the rest of the code is similar to our C program. Let us execute the code. Come back to our terminal. Type g++ space nested hyphen if dot cpp space hyphen o space nested 1. Press enter. Type dot slash nested 1. Press enter. Enter a number between 0 to 39. I will enter 40. The output is displayed as number not in range. Now let's see the switch program in C++. Come back to our text editor. Here also the logic and the implementation are same. You can see that the header file is iostream. Here is the using statement. And we have changed the cout and cin function. Rest of the code is similar to our switch.c program. Let us execute. Come back to our terminal. Type g++ space switch dot cpp space hyphen o space switch 1. Press enter. Type dot slash switch 1. Press enter. Enter a number between 0 to 39. I will enter 25. The output is displayed as you have entered the number in the range of 20 to 29. Now let us switch back to our slides. We will see the comparison between switch and nested if statement. Switch statement is evaluated according to the result of the expression. Nested if statement is run only if the result of the expression is true. In switch we treat various values of the variable as cases. In nested if we have to write the conditional statement for each value of the variable. Switch statement can only check the integer values. Nested if can check for both integer and fractional values. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial we learnt nested if statement example else if y divided by 10 equals to 0. Switch statement, example, switch x and difference between nested if and switch statement. As an assignment, write a program to check whether the age of the employee is between 20 to 60. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials. Gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. The script is contributed by Chaitanya Mukashi. This is Ashwini Patel from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.